Hey everybody, this is Robert at Daybird Aviaries, and look what we got. We got another box in the mail. This one is called the Traveling Garden, and what it is is it's an amazing seed swap. Did you see all that? Look at that. Now look, this was started by a wonderful lady, and it's being passed around through a whole bunch of YouTube homesteading channels. Would you just look at that list? Just look at that. We're going to do like a Star Wars, and we're going to go up the list from the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those names. There we are, Daybird Aviaries. Look at that. Would you see that? Deep South Homestead, the McCree Family Farm, Hope's Homestead, Neil's Homestead, Going, going Batty. Oh, my gosh. Have y'all watched them? They're crazy. They made fun of me for getting my finger glued to a donkey's butt. Now here's what I'm talking about. This is one of Daniel's homeschool projects. That is supposed to be the Trojan horse. I got a link of, to the video up in the corner. There are things like yellow four o'clocks and rattlesnake pole beans. Even got some Danny corn from the Deep South Homestead. There's bachelor's button. Look at that. There's some cotton in there. And this, this ugly thing here, I'm not even sure what it is. It's kind of scary. There's stuff from Stony Creek. There is rattlesnake pole beans from the old Alabama gardener. Look at this. There's packs of okra. There's Peruvian purple corn and there's there's Bolivian cucumbers. There's things from all around the world. Just look at all these seeds. Now I'm supposed to keep some of these and then I'm supposed to put some back. I'm not going to take everything out of one package. But I'm going to keep some of this cotton. I've always wanted to grow some cotton. And this is green cotton. This is some of Miss Wanda's green cotton bowls from Deep South Homestead. I'm going to keep one or two of those. And over here, I'm going to keep some of this Danny corn. Maybe just 10 or 12 ears. I don't have a lot of room to grow a lot of corn. But I want to grow some of Mr. Danny's corn. And I'm going to keep some of these yellow four clocks. I'm going to keep some of those Bolivian Ochacha cucumbers. have no idea what that is. There's some bee balm in here from Stony Ridge. One of these package. Mrs. Daybird wants to keep some of these. I may keep some of those rattlesnake pole beans from the old Alabama gardener. And there's this Ochocha cucumber from Zach at an American homestead. I'm going to keep some of those. I'm not going to take all of them because I'm going to share and pass this along. Now look, this thing is a passion fruit. Here in Alabama, we call them Maypops, and we don't have any anywhere near where we live. It's been years, actually, since I have seen one, and I have absolutely no idea what variety this is. Maybe I can get with Miss Wanda at Deep South Homestead, and she can help me out. But knowing that it is what I normally refer to as a maypop, I knew that there were multiple seeds inside. And so I took one of them and I cracked it open. And I counted 12 seeds. And I'm going to put one of these back. I'm going to keep one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to keep half of them out of this one pod. I'm going to keep six. I'm going to put these other six and this pod back in here with this full pod so that people further down the list will have something interesting from the Deep South Homestead. And here is the bee blossom flower that we're keeping for Mrs. Daybird from Stony Ridge. And I have 30 of the Danny Corn kernels, the seeds, that I'm going to keep. And there is still plenty to share with the next people further down the list and I'm going to keep a couple of the cotton bowls these cool things here and I think I'm going to keep some of the bean seeds from an old Alabama gardener I think that's what I'm going to keep I am almost ashamed to say that I have never actually dealt with real cotton I didn't know how many seeds were in one of these guys I only took one, that one cotton bowl out of that package. And these things are just full of seeds. So this is going to be plenty for me. I'd originally said I might take two cotton bowls out. But that's a lot 
of seeds just in that one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful green color? That's one of our favorite colors around here. I'm going to include some pink four clocks and I'm going to include some dragon tongue uh, bush beans and I'm going to see what else I can include. And I'm going to get this box back in the mail real soon. Next it is going to the Four Hearts Ranch and then it's going to go to the McCree Family Homestead. And like I said, here's this big old list of everybody that's going to go to. Isn't that fun? I'm excited. I'm going to grow me a big old garden next year. Well, there you go, folks. God bless you. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Tell me what, what you're going to grow next year. Tell me which ones of these homestead channels that you currently watch. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description of all the participating channels. Well, there you go. Again, God bless you. Bye-bye.